Well, here's the section behind the B pillar on the passenger side. I could have given you a before and after shot here, but I didn't remember to do that, so I've just clamped that up there. But <clears throat> as you can see, that old piece, it's uh, got quite a few rust holes there and a certain amount of pitting. Um, now, these replacement parts aren't expensive. Uh, I bought one from Kilmartin's. I think it was about $43. So it uh, is well worth the effort to just remove the whole thing and replace it. Now, it's uh, not a difficult job to do. A um, little bit of work there in lining everything up and and getting the, the cuts right for the oxy, but uh, I'll show you the finished product. Right, there it is, all uh, the finished product welded in there. The actual Kilmartin piece uh, comes out to around about that area, but I decided to retain the captive uh, nut there and, and cut it off uh, back here. Finished it off just a little bit with the grinder, <coughs> a little bit more tidying up to do. Uh, the oxy uh, weld was down in through here uh, and uh, with a little bit of paint and what have you that'll be uh, quite a nice repair I've actually manufactured the uh, rest for the bottom that goes down to the bottom of the inner sill um, so I've made a couple of those and the inner sill plates. So that'll be all nice uh, new metal in behind the B pillar. The other side, I'm going to try and reclaim that. Um, it's not too bad, uh, but I'll have a bit more of a look at that, uh, seeing this was so cheap and easy with the Kilmartin part. I'll, uh, I might even do it over there because it does have to last a long time. So we'll see how we go with that. These are a couple of batch repairs for the section behind the B pillar. Uh, go down to where the inner sill fastens to the uh, to the bottom there. I've got some uh, of the top sections ordered. They're a little bit more difficult to make, but Kilmartin's uh, have a nice little repair patch there uh, for less than fifty dollars. So it's not worth the effort to try and make it. But these were quite simple. Uh, to fabricate and uh, they should fit in quite nicely. I'm quite happy with those. Right, I made up a new uh, piece repair panel for the um, right hand side bottom of the uh, panel behind the B pillar. And I've just uh, oxyed that in. And uh, once again, if you get right in there, you can see the, the benefits of, of the oxy. I did uh, mick the tacks in, and you can see a little one there, there, and there, as well as down here. I'll grind those uh, MIG tacks off um, and we should have quite a nice little re repair there. Once again, the Oxy just does such a beautiful job and uh, I can only highly recommend it. I put a little patch in here and uh, I actually used the, the MIG to do that. 
but uh, I'm going to wire brush that off and, and I'm going to tidy that up with the oxy and uh, yeah, see if we can make it a bit better and uh, once again the rest of that's sort of not too bad got to uh, repair these captive nut situations there for the convertible top and up here the great big hole which is I'd say way too big than it needs to be so I'll repair that and uh, yes it all should be good right there's the other side done now um, actually put a whole new panel in there We've got to tidy those spot wells up up the top that's all oxyed in just run the wire wheel over it no grinding or anything so yep pretty happy with that it looks Oh, well, there we go. Went over that with the oxy. Tidied that up a bit. Looks a lot better. Bit down the bottom there. Looks worse than it really is. Uh, heat mark and what have you. But uh, I'll put a little bit of uh, metal filler in that and make it look nice. Not that you see it at all, but um, I'll see it in the head, I guess. Yeah, so vast improvement over the MIG. When you're working around the panel behind the B pillar, there's a couple of things that uh, you need to be aware of. I wasn't, and uh, I've had to do some rework here. But the bottom section that I've welded in there, the location of this rear corner is quite important. You've got two factors that come into play there. You have the the sill running through and also the rear guard that comes down and attaches to the bottom. Now if the bottom plate there isn't placed correctly, you can have the sill running past the end of it which fouls the the uh, dog leg on the guard or if it's too far forward you'll uh, the sill will go over the end of it so I've had to uh, modify both sides this one uh, I didn't take it right off I just reshaped the uh, the back curve there in situ uh, it worked out okay on the other side I had to well I didn't have to but I did I cut the whole thing off and uh, repositioned it the one on this side the right hand side it was too far to the rear and the one on the left hand side was too far uh, forward so just something there to be mindful of when you're locating those things a couple of other little things I've got going on here on the uh, right hand side B pillar in a previous build this uh, edge here from that point there runs rearward by about 10 mil I don't know why uh, that was done like that but what I'm going to do is um, straighten it all up while I can get at it so I'll, I'll cut it off uh, here and just put a little piece in there um, I've made a little little piece to do that and that'll that'll go in in there like that and be trimmed down of course 
And the other little thing going on here is that big hole there. So it doesn't need to be that big. Uh, probably wouldn't matter in the uh, scheme of things, but what I plan to do is uh, weld a, a new piece of metal in there and recut the hole to a more appropriate size. So I've got a little piece there to uh, to go in there. If we can get that into focus a bit. Got to trim that up a bit. So there's a couple of other little things going on in this area. I've got to repair those um, brackets there for the captive nuts and put some new nuts in them. Uh, but the rest of it's not too bad. It looks pretty horrible, but I haven't cleaned it up yet. Um, in a previous or in a video somewhere, I uh, put a patch in there. It was quite an ugly one there before. So, uh, yeah, just something to be mindful of. But we're almost ready to join the two halves together here now. So I'll uh, show you how we get on with that. I won't do a whole video on the sill placements. Uh, that's been done numerous times by other people. So no point going over old work. Yeah, well that's the other side, I actually replaced that whole panel behind the B pillar but if you look down here you can see where I've had to move that back but I'll take that up, that little piece up with the, uh, the inner sill plate so that won't be a problem. Right, well there's those two little patches uh, tacked in now. I'll weld them in later with uh, Oxy. I'm not going to light the torch up just for those two, but yeah, they'll work out okay. And uh, that'll be, apart from the captive nuts, that'll be that panel pretty right, apart from uh, sanding down and tidying up. 